Hi, I'm Michael Whitehouse's Daily Michael Video Blog for Wednesday, September 19th, 2012. I'm uh, on my way back from from uh, the community group that my church does. I'm part of Walnut Hill Community Church. It's dark because I'm in the car, and that's the way it is at night. Um, and uh, my my thought for today about not sweating the small stuff. I was thinking about how gas is $4 a gallon right now. Well, it's actually about four oh nine, I believe. And, um, you know, it's, it's a big deal for a lot of people. And it's a big deal for me today, particularly because uh, since last week, or two weeks ago, I made the mistake of uh, changing jobs to work for the relationship company, and that didn't pan out, and they haven't bothered to pay me yet. I'm, I'm down to change that I found in a jar on the desk to get around, but I found enough. I was able to put a few gallons in the tank. And I was realizing a lot of people are complaining about gas prices. Gas prices are a really big deal. But gas prices aren't really a uh, financial existential threat to most people. They're not going to lose their homes or uh, be starving in the street because gas went to $4 a gallon. And I've long struggled with money, um, many existential threats, as I call them, um, you know, things that would result in being homeless, not getting to eat, not having health care, if I couldn't figure out a way to make it work. And because of that, when people complain about other things, the smaller things, I feel it's kind of silly, it's not really that big a deal, you know, you're still going to be able to eat, you're still going to be able to take care of your family, what's the big deal there? So the only thing you really worry about is the big stuff. But, as I may have mentioned before, I have faith in God. I believe that God has a plan for me, and that um, he's not going to let anything get in the way of that plan, such as me starving on the street, unless, of course, that is part of his plan. And if God's got a plan, then anything big enough that it, it is that kind of existential threat, well, he's going to have my back, and I'm going to be taken care of. I don't need to worry about that. So the conclusion there is, don't worry about the small stuff, because... Well, it's small, and it's not really worth worrying about. And don't worry about the big stuff, because it's big enough that God will make sure it's not that bad, leaving me to focus on doing what I need to do, and uh, enjoying life, and being the best person I can be, and hopefully doing good for other people at the same time. And that's kind of a nice way to be thinking about things. I'm Michael Whitehouse, in the dark.